Hi, I'm Malit Chachere and welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. Phytoplankton and their various functions are very relevant in the context of climate variability and climate change for a number of reasons. Among them, we have the fact that being plants, they do photosynthesis and collectively are responsible for cycling a huge amount of uh, carbon through the marine ecosystem. So we cannot study the global carbon cycle without taking into account the role of phytoplankton in it. Under the Climate Change Initiative, our efforts have been on bringing data from different satellite sensors together to create the longest time series possible so that we can uh, begin to look at uh, climate variability and its impact on the phytoplankton at sea. A major challenge is presented by the demise of MERIS, uh, which was a major contributor to our time series. Combined with the delay in the launch of Sentinel-3, means that we have a precarious period in our time series uh, during which time we are entirely dependent on a very old sensor from NASA called MODIS. So we are now looking into possibilities to um, evaluate other sensors to fill a potential gap in the data which would be highly undesirable. 